testifier. Susan, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, by God's grace, my name is Malakai Okonkwo Ayog. Please put the mic closer to your mouth. Susan, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And uh, I joined Choosing year 2013. And uh, on the process 2014, I backslide. So I reside at the Brinning Wari local government, Kaduna State. So I come here to give God glory for restoring my soul back to faith again. Put your hands together to the Almighty Father. Thank you, Jesus. So before I backslide, God of Choosing did a miracle thing to me. Because before I joined Choosing, I joined Choosing through dream. And uh, on the process, I was, I was into control drugs. So when I joined Choosing, uh, my pastor visit my shop and he said that uh, Choosing don't sell such a thing that I should stop it. Which I promised him that I will not sell it again, but due to I have it many in cantons. I said, when I finish this one, I will not buy again. It's okay. That uh, if I will believe him that I should even throw those drugs, but due to my money, I said, Kai, and I may know in choosing. I said, okay, I will throw it. But uh, I did not do so. So in the process, without knowing that the villagers there, the youth and the police people, even uh, NDLA and even the king, they are planning to arrest me. So in the process, the youth, about 30 of them came to my shop. They said that I should lock my shop. They wanted to beat me, but luckily to me, uh, somebody among them said, no, they should leave me. That they let me lock my shop so I'll follow them to police station. Then I spent a day in police station. The second day, they took me to court. So, and the judge, after the case, he said that I'll go to six months reminding for further investigation. So after the, the, the case, they take me to court uh, cell there, waiting for the van to come and take me to prison. Then I remember my pastor. By then I was in new in choosing. I said, okay, let me call my pastor and narrate everything to him. He said that he warned me, but no problem, that if I promise him that I will not sell it again, that uh, God of choosing, he believed that God of choosing will do something now. I say, I promise that when I go, the remaining one, I will throw everything away. Then he say that he give that man 30 minutes to release me, mm. if he is serving a living God. Hallelujah. So, immediately, it's not up to 20 minutes, a man come to the cell. He say, who is Malachi? I say, see me here, sir. He say, okay, come, follow me. He opened the gather. I come out, I follow him to the chief judge. There many lawyers we are standing. So see big big cushion there. The, the judge said, I have seat. I said, sir, I'm okay like this. I was standing. He said, no, sit down now. I said, no, I'm okay like this because I was afraid. He said, brother, sit down. Then I sit. He said that after he write everything, he said I should pay fifty thousand or five years imprisonment which uh, I make a call immediately, they bring 50,000, I give him, he give me receipt that I am free. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So, but the uh, devil is a liar. Because in the process, the security there, they advise me that I should not go back to my shop, neither to my house that I have to leave the place for the moment that the youth are very angry for me that they want to use me as an example to others. They want to wicked me. So that's how I travel to my village. On the process, I lost my pastor contact. On the process, because I was a new in the choosing by then, that is how I backslide. So when I backslide, from there, I relocate from Kaduna back to Kaduna, uh, Kano, to Kaduna State. So, when I went there now, things started, I said, everything started going down, my business, everything. So reaching 2020, during enemy summited, the angel of my pastor visited me again. He said, bro, Malachi, you see your life? See, 
after every all the thing that I've done to you, you go back and started smoking, go back and start drinking, following women, doing adultery, all the same. Okay. When I wake up, I share tears. I say, God of choosing, I am very sorry. But during enemy submitted, I come back to choosing. When I come back 2020, 2021, then I am in Kaduna now. Then when I were doing farm in Kaduna State during bringing worry, many people know the area. It's a camp of bandits. So in my farm where we are farming, some people pay this bandit 50 million, 60 million, 30 million, it depends. So but me, I say no, that I'm not give these people money. So I start my harvest the first day, the second day, the third day was our market day. I said, no, I'm not going to the farm that day. Then I sent my boy and a woman that helped me in the farm. Then, when they reached there, they ne before they could know it, about, they came with about four AK-47 looking for me. When they come, they want to carry my boy. They were looking at my boy for 30 minutes. They are looking at the woman for some times. They looked at them, my boy, and the woman was looking at them also. That's how one of them tapped the other one and said, let's go. That's how they left them and go. Choosing praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Let's put our hands together to the Almighty Father. And choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And these people... Even they kidnap even beggars, both young and old. They kidnap any human being that come on their way. So I give God all glory for the great intervention in Jesus' name. Amen. So reaching the third day, I send them back there again to continue the work. So when they go, now they came with their tattoos, many with the AK-47. When they were destroying people's farm on the way far away, when they came, because that day I prayed to God of Chosen, I said, God of Chosen, please show me mercy. That I don't want these people, see, I spend a lot of money in this farm, that I don't want to lose this farm, I don't want to lose. If I don't know God of Chosen, hear my prayer. The third day, they came back again with their tattoos, with their AK 47, destroying people's farm, reaching to my farm. Immediately they step in my farm. Mm -hmm. The next thing with the AK-47, they turn back and run away. Put with your the hands Atatus. together to the Almighty Father. Who's he praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's how they run away. Since then, they did not come back again. Amen. So that's why I come to apologize to God of choosing. Amen. Because God of choosing was just waiting for me to come. He started blessing me during 2013. But on the way I backslide, I was I am very, very sorry. God of choosing, show me mercy. But now with all my heart, all my soul, all my bo body, I come back again and I pray forward ever, backward never again, in Jesus' name. Amen. At Amen. this point, I pray for my geo, heaven at last, all the choosing worldwide. Heaven at last, me and my family, heaven at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together to the Almighty Father. The only advice I have for our brother, our pastor, I hope he's hearing me, he says continuation brings freedom. Continue in the Lord choosing, and your victory will be guaranteed. The next testifier. Admin, please, I want to sing. My helper, oh, my helper. My helper, oh, my helper. Oh, there is something that makes me abandon my former church. Join choosing. There is something that makes me abandon my former church. Join choosing. Hallelujah. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
My name is Sister Shoma Ugonna. I joined Chusi in 2008, and I reside at the Portacot River State. I want to thank this God of choosing, miracle working God, for what this God done to me, my friend that I brought here from Soro to Joy. I traveled from Portaco to Aba, brought her to my place. Since December, she be calling me. Say, Mommy, I'm not feeling fine. I don't know that she's a serious case. I say, join choosing. No matter what we are passing through, that the God of choosing will see you through. That's true. I thought that is a small case. He said that after operation, the doctor said that they have a severe cancer. She cannot sleep. She cannot eat. Both to diabetes and the BP. Just a young lady that I'm not up to 40 years. In fact, when I meet that woman, I took her to MCC, choosing, the law choosing in Aba. After that, I said, start going in there. But she cannot get the strength to go. And none of their family is their choosing. So after the announcement of this program, last week, I traveled to Aba, brought her to my house. If you see the condition of this young lady, I'm the one that will bet her. Only I can by force, she can take. But this God of choosing do wonders. Even when we enter airport, the airport people say, Madam, do you have any doctor report that this woman will travel by air? I say, no, it's okay. You people are not traveling. Unless you will write and sign that anything happened, I say, bring, nothing is not going to happen. We sign, so we enter. Immediately we drop here. The first miracle, somebody that cannot sit down, somebody that cannot eat, he said, please, mommy, I can eat fufu, buy fufu for me. Put your hands together to the Almighty Father. Thank you, Jesus. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I asked her the second time, are you sure? See, yes. If you see vegetable or bitter leaf soup, bring it to me. Hmm. In fact, I'm so happy. Amen. I run down from that place. They said they have closed where they are selling. I beg one woman, say, please help me. Let me see whether this woman can eat because she's lifeless. Hmm. She cannot sit down. I'm the one that will bring her up. So, but what this God of choosing done, the last program on Sunday, after our daddy mentioned her case, as I'm talking to you now, she can get up by herself. Amen. Even this morning, she said, Mommy, please go and get rice and beans to me. Amen. Those pens, when the pens start, the husband only tramadol, that is the medicine they were giving her to sustain the pen, so you to know the power of that, the severe of the problem. But I say, I'm here to them. I'm telling you that God of choosing her roll away. Those pens, Amen. she can sleep four hours now. Amen. Sometimes I will tell her, wake up now. So I say, I must give this testimony before I travel today. Amen. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I cover my testimony, the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. I wish my G.O. and all the whole choosing worldwide and my family heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. My sister, hold on. Where is the sister in question? She's in the hall. She cannot come by herself. No, so. she never gets strength, but all those things that is worrying her. So he said the place is far. Okay. Yes. Don't worry. She's already healed. Let's put our hands together to the Almighty Father. He that started it in her life will finish it. Our pastor say, when you shoot an elephant, he may not die that time. Gradually, gradually, the elephant will die. I don't know wherever you are, sitting down here or hearing my voice or watching us on the choosing television. I want to assure you, as far as you have come in contact with the Lord choosing, your problem, you will see them no more. The next testifier. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please, I want to give God a song. Father, receive all glory, Lord. I do receive all glory, Lord. 
Father, receive all glory, Lord. Hallelujah, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This song I saw myself singing in a dream. That was last year. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, my name is Sister Ngozi Chupu Nemeka Nkwosha. Let me call my name in full. I reside on number two, Ola Oshadia, Egondo. And I joined choosing in the year, 16th of September, 27, with the program titled, My Time for God's Favor. I thank God for the salvation of my soul, because I know the kind of family that I'm from. Put your hands together to the Almighty Father. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for adding another year to my year today, being the 15th of February, 2022. Hallelujah. All the years I've been passing, I've not been testifying about my bed or whatever. I'll just wake up and say, God, I thank you for what you have done for me. But why I came to give the testimony, because of what devil planned for me last year. He tried everything by all means to take my life away last year. But God of Jesus never allowed him. On the 5th of June last year, 2021, I had an accident. After workers meeting here, I was going home. I fell off from a bus that the tire of the bus climbed this my right leg. What I shouted my leg, thinking that the tire had crushed my bones. But to my greatest surprise, when I got up, I stood with my leg. Amen. Only the bruises. For God to show me what happened. It's not a small thing. Blood were gushing out from the two bruises here and here. And within 10 minutes, I was not able to move from here to here again. My legs swole up. But this God of chosen by his infinite mercy delivered me. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And after five days of that accident, I prepared because it was on a Thursday. I prepared to come to Thursday service because I don't miss it unless I travel for evangelism. I prepared to have taken my bath for me to go out to go and dress up. I felt that my eyes turned. The whole house was turning upside down, turning upside down. I said, what is happening to me? By the time I know what was, I started purging. As I was purging, I said I was vomiting. No, by the time I know what was happening, no strength again for me. I managed to call my sister that I'm staying in her house. I just wanted to say, which I don't know what is happening to me. I fell down on the seat there. So I was struggling with the between life and death. I just wanted to say, I am a choosing. I am a choosing. I am a choosing. You spirit of death, who are you? The God of my pastor, where are you? And the whole thing ceased. So I want to thank God for everything He had done for me. Put your hands together to the Almighty Father. Thank you, Father. That's why I say I must come and testify for God to, to cross me over from the, uh, the year 2021 because we plan so many things to this year 2022. I'm thanking God for everything he has done for me, even my family members for divine protection upon our lives in Jesus name. I want to pray for our daddy in the Lord. I want to use this song. When choose me march to heaven with a geo as a leader marching on like soldiers Soldiers, able soldiers, we shall sing in and rejoicing. Oh, choosing voice I had. Oh, yes, we have made it. Oh, yes, the choosing voice I had. Gone, gone, we have gone, we have gone. Joining the glory of joy above. Oh, yes, we have made it. Just impress the Lord. Hallelujah. This shall be a song on that great day in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for the Lord General Pastor, heaven at last. I'm one man in the Lord, their children, the entire household. And all the choosing ones, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Just impress the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together to the Almighty Father. I know you have a testimony to share with us. If you are just coming in and God has blessed you, remember the favor God has given unto you. Remember the sanctification God has given unto you. Remember the exploits God used you to do. 
Remember what God has done for you. The Bible says, what shall I render unto the Lord for all the things he has done for me? God does not eat any food except praises. Please kindly go to my left-hand side and meet the testimony interviewers. Opportunity will be given to you to share a testimony with us. Remember, the testimony belongs to you, but all glory belongs to God. Our pastor wants to hear your testimony. We want to rejoice with you. Please go to my left-hand side and share your testimony with them. Opportunity will be given to you. Don't sit on your testimony, and God of Tuesday will continue to bless you in Jesus' name. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Brother Moses Joseph. I came from uh, Eminem Autonomous in Enugu State. I thank God for making me a chosen. Let's put our hands together to the Almighty Father. Thank you, Jesus. I'm here with joy and gladness for what this God of Chosen has done in my life ever since I joined this great family on earth. I want to testify how I became a chosen. I joined this ministry in the year 2015 through cable television. Before then, while the testimony for me is that before I entered this ministry through its children's television, I don't know anything about this ministry. I was a knight of the Catholic Church 10 years before then. Hmm. So as a knight in that, uh, con uh, that very denomination, you don't receive tracts, this handbill from anybody. We see people that go about preaching these people that people that don't know what they're doing. So it was, it was the great thing that happened in my life that hearing the undiluted word of my pastor while searching the television, because what attracted me was this yellow dress. And that was how I renounced knighthood and became mm. a chosen. Hallelujah! Amen. And since I became a chosen, God has been so faithful. He's so faithful. I that don't know how to, uh, after reading the Bible, I don't understand. God has chosen made me an evangelist that I can preach the mm. word of God anywhere I go. Amen. Sir, so I, I did not get you very well for emphasis sake. You say I, you didn't do what? I said, I got a chosen and enabled me to become an evangelist. I preach in the bus. In there, the, there was something you said. You say you don't know how to. I, after reading the Bible before, I don't understand. When I was the other side, there was no bush at all. But I never knew that the enemy was busy eating me deep. It was when I entered this ministry that snakes started manifesting in my house up to Eight snakes were killed in my compound. Not hmm. one, not two. Eight snakes. Hmm. Hallelujah. If you are not a choosing, please make haste to join us. If you are not a choosing, please make haste and join us. If you are not a choosing, please make haste to join us. If you are not a choosing, please make haste and join us. Amen. Amen. My brother, I want to clarify your testimony. You said you didn't know that you were living with snakes. Yes, I never knew that my compound, that snakes were, has taken over my compound. But as you joined the Lord Jesus. Really, I joined the Lord Jesus in less than three months. The system manifested, manifested eight big snakes, mm -hmm. not one, eight. Mm -hmm. We are killed in my compound. That is it. That is it. I want to assure everyone that is sharing this testimony, and wherever you are, you are in the right place with the right church. My third testimony is, before I enter this ministry, I can't read any word, even with the boldest letter, mm -hmm. without wearing eyeglasses. And I was using four different spectacle designs. But less than three months I entered this ministry, in a Tuesday service like this, while we were about to start, uh, I was, was about to start teaching, and I was about bringing out my eyeglass from my pocket, I looked at the small boy close to me holding this pocket Bible. The boy has opened his own. Then my eye flashed. The, uh -uh. I saw I can read the can words. Imagine? That was how I opened my Bible. And Hallelujah. Hmm. 
Since that very day, close to six years now, I don't know what is called eyeglass again. I can read even the smallest letter. The smallest letter. Just open anywhere. Let anywhere, him read. Anywhere. Open anywhere. Okay, John 14, verse 1. Then Lord, your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's side, there are many mansions. That is it. If it are not so, I that is it. <laughs> Let's put our hands together to the Almighty Father. God is a miracle working God. Yes, so I have so many, but I was permitted to testify only four. So the fourth one is that in this program of uh, Sorry uh, to Joy. Sorry to Joy. I came with my stepmother, her darling stepmother. She couldn't, but she cannot walk without anybody helping her. Hmm. And May last year, she lost her memories. But on Sunday, two days ago, our Jew spotted her case. She started working on her own. Her memory was restored. Amen. Amen. Let's put our hands together to the Almighty Father. Thank you, Jesus. So this God who did all these things and proved his power in my life, even though in my village they said that since I was born, I was doing good. But the worst thing I did was to leave my church because I was the first night in my village. And then I would, the, the worst thing I did was to leave Catholic Church and enter choosing. So I told them that's the best thing, not the worst. They, they don't do it. So this God who has started to prove his power in my life, I return all the glory, Amen. all the honor, Amen. all the adoration, Amen. all the thanksgiving, Amen. all majesty, Amen. exaltation and veneration. Be unto him alone in Jesus' name. Amen. My prayer for our daddy whom God used to deliver me is for greater anointing. Amen. Power above all powers. Amen. He will mend the head and not the tail. Amen. He will fulfill this ministry to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Our mommy in the Lord will continue to be a strong supporter and encouragement to our daddy in Jesus' name. Amen. All his children will be like children of Issachar. So that they will, they will have wisdom to know what this ministry to do at any time in Jesus' name. Amen. All the pastors and leaders and brethren will obey our general pastor and make heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together to the Almighty Father. The next testifier. I know you have a testimony within the time allotted. Please kindly go to my left hand side. Opportunity will be given to you to share a testimony. Don't sit on your testimony, and the Lord will continue to bless us in Jesus' name. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, I have come to say thank you to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For what he has done for me. Amen. For this last program. I don't know. I was coming back. Your name, sister? My, my brother. My name is Sister Beatrice Isika. Living in First Tag, 312 Road, Block 3, Flat 1. But during the program, I stayed with my daughter at Ago. When I was going, I get to Ago. I was going for one lane. See one vehicle coming that Sunday. I was holding my bag at my hand. I was going. My aim is that the, the vehicle will pass like this. Not knowing to me, when he got to my place, he just hit me, carried the, my bag. He carried my bag and go back from where I'm coming. Eh? Carry the bag and return it from where I am coming. Everything is scattered. I look at myself. Nothing happened to me. Amen. It did not touch my hand. I was standing there for a while time. Then there's one sister said, Mommy, Go now, go and collect your bag. I say, eh, before I now walk back. 
to collect those things. So I thank Almighty Father. Put your hands together to the Almighty I don't know Father. Thank what you, would Father. Have happened to me? Thank you, if Father. If not God of choosing, if not God of choosing, I don't know where my children will know. They will not know where I am. Hmm. But this God of choosing, He saved me. He delivered me. Thank you, Father. I say, may His name, His name alone. Be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to pray for my daddy in the Lord, whom God is using to deliver us. I said, me, Almighty Father, bless him. Take him to higher place in Jesus' name. Amen. All his hard desires, God will make it to happen in Jesus' name. Amen. At the end, it will make heaven in the name of Jesus. Amen. For the choosing was me, my family, everybody who will make heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. My brethren, help me to thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Anytime I remember this incident, I don't know. Amen. I say thank you, Father. Thank you, Thank Lord. you, Jesus, Amen. for saving me. For saving me. Amen. Let's put our hands together to the Almighty Father because He answers prayer. The next testifier. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Chinemere Mochi and I joined Chosen May 2019. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I stay in Abba State, Abba, and I worship at 119 Olasi Road, Abba Branch. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My first testimony goes like this. Before I joined Choosing, there was one program a brother invited me here to. So during that program, our daddy was preaching. He said something that he wants men that would join him to go all over the world those places that people are not going to win souls for Christ. So where I was sitting, I said, God, this is the kind of desire I want. I want to join in this movement. So on May 2019, I declared myself a choosing. When I was testifying at the auditorium the other side, I said I'm joining in the movement of the 10 billion soul movement. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I left. I said, God, please bless me that I will be using my money to go for evangelism, outreach, to preach the gospel. And God did it. He was bringing money from people left and right, and business was moving. Amen. But as time goes on, my focus changed. I now started focusing more on the business instead of the business of God. I started doing that outreach the time I want and the day I feel like. So on November 2021, which was Hope for the Needy last year, I planned coming for that Hope for the Needy with a brother. We bought tickets and paid for everything. I returned home to carry my bag. On our way coming, I slumped in the keke and I was taken to the hospital. That was how I did not come for Hope for the Needy again. But something happened. In that hospital, they said I was not breathing, that I was not moving. Even the doctor was confused, but I was talking. And the only thing I was saying was, God have mercy, Lord have mercy on me. So when they called our branch pastor that was over here in Lagos, he said that they should leave me, that I woke up. When I woke up, hope for the needy have passed. So I returned, I cried for mercy. But by the grace of God, who is a merciful God, this God of our pastor that we are serving, who will not allow his own to go away. From that November to this moment that we are talking, by the grace of God, we have won over 200 and something souls for God that all is, over Nigeria. Wow. Let's put our hands together to the God of the choosing. I want you to repeat that statement again. I said, from November till now, by the grace of God, over 200 and something souls have been won to the God of choosing Amen. all over Nigeria. Amen. I created an online group for all of them that every program I come, I will on my phone 
go to the group and go live, every one of them will be following. People I have not met, people I have met, every one of them will be following. And they will keep giving their testimony unto the God of Chosen. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My second testifier goes this way. Let us put our hands together to the God of the Chosen. Our pastor has told us time with that number. He's looking for people that will join him to win souls. Win 1,000 people, win 10,000 people. We thank God for our brother's testimony. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, after that, my encounter with God, I said, food or no food, that I'll be going for his work. Money or no money, I'll be going for his work. God started opening way. There was a boss I stayed with three years before I leave him. He did not give me anything. I begged him several times to teach me on how to be buying goods from China. With my phone, he refused. But on this January, when we returned from Lagos experience, he called me. God of choosing make it a burden to him and the mother. They started calling me, come, come, come. He said I should come. He started teaching me on how to buy those goods from China using my phone. He started teaching me how to change Chinese language to English. He started teaching me on how to communicate with the factory directly. By the grace of God, he helped me. I bought a goose that is on the way coming. By the grace of God, Hallelujah. he opened a company account for me, a dollar account. He registered my company and he traveled to Canada on Thursday. Hallelujah. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And this God of choosing did not stop that. He did not stop on that place. I was looking for a two-bedroom flat that I will relocate to. On Tuesday, an agent, on Thursday, before I came for Sorrow to Joy, an agent found a place. But before that place, I had a dream about that house. God showed me that I will meet the landlord in person, the place that you want me to stay, that I'll meet the landlord in person. He showed me a lot of things that I will know that that place is where he wants me to stay. So before we got to that building, there were four people already that came for that apartment. I was the fifth one that came, and I was the smallest among them. All of them were married, and I am still single. So the man was saying how he used to take care of his house, the rules and regulations in his compound. He said that you must pay 25,000 naira every month, and you pay for two years. That is 600,000, an extra 120,000 for caution fee and tenancy agreement, making it 720,000. Ah, to me, I was only with 20,000 for one year. That is 240,000. I was saying, God, how am I going to do it? But I did not panic. He started asking them, which state are you from? Which village are you from? The four of them started mentioning, I'm from Anambra, I'm from here, I'm from there. But when it got to my turn, I did not know what happened. He said, which village are you from? I said, I'm a choosing. Which village are you from? I said, I'm a choosing. He asked me, what did you say? I, all of them were looking at me. Even the Kekeman that carried me to that place, they were like, are you mad? They are asking you, which village are you from? You are saying you are a choosing. So the man said, okay, all those four people that came before me, that they should go. You don't want to see them, that I should come in. He answers prayer, he answers prayer, he answers prayer. He answers prayer, he answers prayer, God of choosing, he answers prayer. He answers prayer, God of choosing answers prayer. He answers prayer. God of choosing answers prayer, he answers prayer. He answers prayer. Choosing praise the Lord. Let's put our hands together to the Almighty Father. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When I went to his office, God of choosing started again. He asked me, I told him, sir, I don't have that 720,000. No. I only have 240,000. He said, do you want to pay now? Hmm. I said, yes, sir, I will pay. He gave me a account number. I sent the 240,000. He said, I should sign the hmm. agreement that the house is for me. Hallelujah. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is when this song came to my mouth. Mm. 
Adega kuziri chukunye Nyo ne me bunye de maye Anaga kuziri anye Olo na lo bolo de maye Adega kuziri anye Obonye na kuziri god of chosen ye Obonye pore kuziri anye Olo na lo bolo de maye Adega kuziri anye Inyo ne me binye de maye Adega kuziri anye Onye ga kuziri chin komo kanye Obonye pore kuziri god of my past on ye Inyo ne me kase maye Adega kuziri anye Inyo ne me binye de ma Adega kuziri anye I want to pray for my father, our daddy, heaven at last, our mommy Joe, heaven at last, all the choosing worldwide, heaven at last, those that will join, those that are on their way, and those in this place, heaven at last, me and my family, heaven at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's put our hands together to the God of their choosing. Before second to the last testifier, our brother's testimony is so exciting. The song interpretation says, you don't teach God of choosing. You will not teach him. He knows what to do. And as you have come to this place, listen to me. He will surely bless you in Jesus' name. Second to the last testifier for today. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Moderator, please let me give a song. He that started a good work. He that started a good work. He that started a good work. He will finish it in me. He that started a good work. He that started a good work. He that started a good work. He will finish it in me. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing people praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The God of choosing is so great. He's so great. My name is Sister Adenike Eze. I joined Choosing 2012. I'm from Abba. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm here to thank this God of choosing for what he did for me. I don't want to sit on this testimony this time because this time I don't know what will happen. It all happens about three months ago. I was in my dream. In that dream, I saw myself where I have a breast cancer and even it has ruptured and it has a very big wound. I was like, what is this? I was terrified in that dream. I was so afraid. So I was still asking questions. What is this? What is going on? I woke up in that dream. I said, God forbid. It's not my portion. Breast cancer. I started rebuking it, canceling that evil dream. Two days later, I started having severe pain from that side of that breast. And the pain continues. I was like, it's ordinary pain that as you come, you will go. Few days later, this pain continues. The back of that side of my breast started aching me. I can't breathe down very well. I couldn't hold it anymore. I said, okay, let me endure for my pastors them to come back because they traveled for meeting here in Lagos. But I couldn't wait because as the day goes by, the pain continued to grow severely. So I had to call my pastor on the line. So I explained the dream to him and I explained what I was going through. So he said, my daughter, I answered him. He said, nothing will happen to you. He prayed to me. After praying for me, he canceled that evil dream and sent that evil arrow back to the sender, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. After that prayer, not up to one hour, that pain vanished. Let's put our hands together to the God of the choosing. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I did not see the trace of that pain. Both the one at the back, both the one in my hand, both the one at the breast. I didn't see anyone again. Then, I didn't give this testimony. I said, God of choosing, show me mercy. 
I'm not this type that sits on my testimony. But suddenly I just look at it as ordinary thing. I didn't give that testimony. When I say I will give, it will go out of my mind. Not until about a month ago. I just came back from the market. I remember that day. So as I want to undress, I feel strange pain by the side of this place. I said, a uh -uh, strange pain. I touched it. I said, it's nothing. That it could be a monthly pain. After that, it will go. Two days later, I want to go and bath. I touch the place. The place is paining me. Uh -uh. I come back. I entered inside. I touched my breast side. I saw a lump in that breast. Hmm. I said, Jesus. The first pain, there was no lump. It was just an ordinary pain. I said, God, what is this? I still keep quiet. I was going praying. If I go to church, I will present it before God. But one thing came to my mind the moment I discovered that pain and that lump. That thing that came to my mind is the first one that God did to you. Did you come and show appreciation? You sit on it. You see it as nothing. Now you are going to see what is serious. I started pleading for mercy. Anytime I remember, my heart will skip. I started pleading for mercy. I plead for mercy. This pain continued. After a week later, I couldn't hold it because the lump was growing. And when I touched the lump, it would pain me to my bone marrow. I called my pastor. He prayed and canceled that evil lump. After that prayer, this lump continued growing. I don't know what to do. I lost my peace. I was restless. Everything that comes into my mind is all the people that have breast cancer that have died. Oh, I couldn't hold it anymore. Every day, if I carry food to eat, if I remember, I will cut off the food. That now, I come to church on Sunday. My pastor saw me. He said, what is it? I said, the pain is still there. He prayed. After the meeting, he called the workers. They prayed for me. When I got home, a few days later, I didn't see that lump again. But the pain continues. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said, I am coming to this sorrow to joy. That evil arrow must go. Amen. So when I came to sorrow to joy, on Saturday, after our past Geo have prayed, he said we should raise our hand up. We should keep everything in our hand. He blessed our hand. After blessing it, he said, use it to tap wherever is paining you three times. I used my hand and tapped the place three times. In the night, I touched it. The pain subsided. The next day being Sunday, the pain vanished. Put Just your hands together the to the Almighty Father. Thank you, Jesus. And I've been trying to go and give this testimony as instant testimony. That fear of going to give testimony came upon me again. Even this morning, I went upstairs. I said, no, when I go to my branch, I will give this testimony. The voice keeps telling me, go and give testimony and give glory to God. That is why I come here, to appreciate this God of choosing who have done this for me. I say, may his name alone be highly exalted forever in Jesus' name. Amen. At this junction, I pray for my G.O. heaven at last. I pray for all the choosing ones, including me and my family. Heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's put our hands together to the Almighty Father. Before the last testifier for today, please, a sister lost her back. She's not staying in Lagos here. She came from outside the country, and the bag contained her international passport with some credentials and some key. So please, if you happen to see the bag, kindly take it to the security. It will be returned to the sister. Information on it, you know, say she kept it somewhere or she misplaced it. Please help us to send it across to the security. It will get to her. And whoever owned the bag, I want you to be rest assured that bag is not lost. You will see your bag and God will be glorified in Jesus' name. There will be an important general meeting for all the evangelists in Lagos State both those in autonomous for the preparation of the upcoming crusade outside Lagos. Date Thursday, 17th February 2022. Time 10 p.m. prompt. Venue Car Park, Egyptian Headquarters. Also, those that want to join the evangelist, you are welcome. Signed, Evangelist Tony Ezala. A qualified and born again driver is urgently needed in an organization. Please, if you can drive, and you have experience in driving, 
kindly go upstairs to the video department. They will direct you what to do. A brother there needs your assistance so that you can be recommended. This announcement is for the special intercessors. You will be having your vigil on Thursday, 17th February by 10 p.m. at the car park. New members are welcome. The last testifier for today. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing generation, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, I am Prince Jerome Ononujaku Obodo. I'm from Imo State, Haji precisely. I work in Apapa and I'm also a deacon in Wina and a, a, a healthcare teacher. There's something that happened that makes me to come here for you, brothers and sisters. I want you to pay attention to know that it's what is called that God of Abraham, that God of Isaac is in this church. <laughs> Hallelujah. I thank God that God appoints Geo to come out for what, where he is to establish this winner, this uh, choosing. That's the God of Abraham through through. Mm. As a transporter and also a, a deliverer in Apapa, what I encounter within this period, I have never experienced it. That is why I want to come and return it. Glory, honor to this chosen world. Amen. I came here on last upper Saturday without anybody informing me to come. Because I was about to travel to North. So my heart was beating. One spirit said, go to choosing and buy the apron. Hmm. Wear it. Go where you are going. Nothing will happen. So and on that not, Saturday. And you are not a choosing by then. My I, brother. I am not a choosing. Okay. I am telling you, but as I'm standing now today, hmm. I am a bona fide son of a choosing. Put your hands Praise together for the God of the choosing. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So, my hmm. brothers and sisters, what happened is this. When I, the person I went to his place in Joss to go and drop motor Plateau State, even till today, I don't know the man, the man doesn't know me. It was full connection. Somebody gave him my phone number that is called Prince Obodo, that Prince will deliver your car for you. So my wife going, I bought this apron too. I wear one on the seat because I didn't carry anybody in the car. It was only me and the car and the Lord. I proceed on my journey. My brothers and sisters, could you imagine that from Lagos here till I reach Joss, what I was only hearing on the road, praise the God of choosing, 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 praise the God of choosing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I was highly excited that if I travel this journey and go and come back safely, I will come and be a member of choosing. All the work I do in other churches, I'll be doing it here. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me continue. Please pay attention. It's very authentic. I left onto my journey until I arrived just. I didn't spend time to anybody. Hallelujah. Why is that? Whenever we travel at times, we spend more than 20 or 30,000 to sell police and army. But this apron I wore was the master to clear the road. Hallelujah. Yes, master Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, the Lord of choosing. Hallelujah. My brother, if I continue hmm. to excite, give you a sight in how things happen to me, I will not come out here today. Hmm. But let me leave it here so that other things can take on. Amen. I pray for the Jew 
the Abraham of the old is the present Geo we have. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray for his family. I pray for that God that called him. Because choosing is for righteousness. Yes. Choosing, preach righteousness to the core. And it touches your marrow. I pray that that Geo, the almighty God, who uphold him. Amen. Uphold his family. Amen. Uphold his generation. Amen. Uphold his family. Amen. Uphold all my Jubilee members worldwide and their family. Help me at last. Amen. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of and Jesus. And God bless you in Jesus' Amen. name. All I know, the Lord is here. All I know, the Lord is here. All I know, the Lord is here. All I know. I say, all I know, all I know, all I know, the Lord is here. Amen. My beloved brother, you are welcome. Our pastor says, continuation brings freedom. As you continue in fellowship in the Lord choosing, every of your heart desire will be granted. Amen. We thank God for today's testimony. Beloved, before we usher in our pastor to come and minister to us, I want to point out a few testimonies that happened in the last crusade from sorrow to joy. In my list on the first day, we have over 60 something instant testimony that took place on the first day. <laughs> on the second day, we also have instant miracle that took place. There are more than 55. But I'm going to see how I cut it short so that we can rejoice together. On the first day, we have a miracle that took place on the first day. 17 years deaf and dumb from birth healed. We have two sisters, 12 years and 17 years, born deaf and deaf that God healed. 20 years deaf and dumb, we are healed by God of the choosing. 21 years born deaf and dumb, we are healed. After a pastor's prayer, Accident induced dislocation was healed. Accident induced inability to walk was healed. One year stroke and cage on a wheelchair was being healed by the God of the choosing. Two years stroke healed. Fifteen years paralysis healed. Three years, three months accident was healed. Five years new injury healed. Two months restricted to wheelchair healed. Sister with pain all over her body, healed. Eight years inability to walk, healed. Ten months inability to walk, healed. One with paralysis, healed. One year's broken bone, healed. Eight months stroke, healed. Four years paralysis, healed. Five years swollen stomach, healed. Twelve years gutter, glaucoma, and light poison, healed. Three years kidney failure, healed. Work support drop and inability to walk, Five months stroke healed. One year stroke healed. Four months chronic pain healed. Two months Parkinson's disease healed. One year kidney failure healed. Nine months loss of memory healed. Three years paralysis healed. Two weeks dislocation healed. Four months general body pain healed. Twenty years born deaf and dumb healed. Five years partial paralysis and stroke healed. Two months hepatitis and ulcer healed. Four months partial paralysis healed. 20 years born deaf and dumb healed. 20 years deaf and dumb also healed. 20 years broken bones joined together. Seven months stroke healed. Six months paralysis healed. 21 years deaf and dumb healed. Brethren, 17 years born deaf and dumb healed. 16 years broken bone healed. This is the first day. Then the last day, God of choosing crowned it all. 17 years and 14 years deaf and dumb, instantly healed by the God of the choosing. 11 years born deaf and dumb, healed. 14 years paralysis, a sister from Zimbabwe was healed by God of the choosing. 18 years born deaf and dumb, healed. 5 years madness, rolled away. 38, 37 years deaf and dumb, healed. Swollen body, healed. Five years arthritis, healed. Fourteen years of accident, healed. Eight years born deaf and dumb, healed. Three months broken bones, healed. Six months stroke, healed. Two months stroke, 
heal. Two years arthritis, heal. Four years stroke, heal. Eight years stroke, heal. One year stroke, heal. Eight years stroke, heal. A particular family that have twins, ten years, we are born, they were born deaf and dumb. God of choosing restored the joy to the family. Brethren, 12 years stroke healed. 11 years acute arthritis healed. 16 years spinal cord healed. 2 years stroke healed. 2 months poison leg healed. 13 years broken bones healed. 7 years demonic injury healed. 1 year spinal cord healed. 4 years stroke healed. 8 years partial blindness healed. 12 month paralysis healed. 10 days stroke healed. 4 years stroke healed. 15 years stroke healed. 